What's up, Sneeders? Today I'm gonna to show you guys how I make my drinks every morning on the farm so I can go out and work and have something cold to drink. So usually, first few days I was on the farm, I would just get some ice out of the ice maker we have indoors. But, as you might be able to see there, there's not a whole lot of ice in there. This ran out, I think, maybe the third day I was here. And you can see it, the flap is down, so it's supposed to be making ice, but... I mean, this is like three days of ice production. It's probably not even one cube per hour. So, needless to say, that's not enough. Alright, so let me go ahead and show you guys my ice. We'll go out to this garage where one of Grandpa's freezers still is. Although, <laughs> this freezer might be on its last leg because it says door ajar, even though I don't see anywhere where it really is ajar. But, anywho, this is my solution for making ice in the interim. I just filled one of my Greek yogurt containers up with water to make ice. So I'll bring this inside. Yeah, I mean, that is closed pretty good. And it is chilling stuff, so I don't know why the door is ajar. That's another thing for me to fix. off in the mud room and switch to house shoes because we cannot be taken or we cannot be wearing boots in the house that's crazy that's what mud rooms are for that's why when grandpa built this house he built multiple mud rooms I tell you Gramps is a smart guy OG Sneeder. He was Sneeding before, even before Sneeds was Chucks. Okay, grab my jug. Probably gotta clean this thing out. Yeah, I'm gonna give her a little washy washy real quick. All right, my jug is nice and clean. So, let me go ahead and show you guys this drinking water system. Although it's not fully Libre because <laughs> there's some proprietary additives I'm gonna put in there. So we'll just run warm water on the outside of it that should loosen up the block of ice enough to come out and i already hear it moving around so now i can take this off and it should just plop in there nice big block of ice I'll keep my water cold all day. So now here's my proprietary additives. Um, sometimes I use this if I'm feeling a little bit tired. It tastes pretty good, but um, yeah, usually I'll just take like a little bit of this in the morning if I'm real tired, but this is what I drink during the day. Some orange flavored Gatorade. I saw, um, what company is it? Redmond's 
has uh, some salts you can put in, which is kind of the same idea as this, you know, electrolytes. So I might start doing that. Be a little bit more foss, right? <laughs> some electrolytes and maybe a squeeze of lemon or a squeeze of an orange. Be a little bit better than this stuff, but this is what I got for now, so this is what I'm gonna use. So usually, I put three scoops in, but as you see, I'm getting empty, so these are like half scoops, we'll call that two. Let's try to get a nice big one for the third scoop. Eh, it's not quite full, so we'll do another little half scoop. All right. sense to put hot water in here. Alright, now we're gonna... can't really stir it, but we can <laughs> just dunk that big iceberg in a few times to, you know, get everything mixed together. And I'll add a little bit more water on top. I'll put that lid on. Like to give it a little shake. Just make sure everything's constituted. There you go. Half a gallon of drink for a long day of farming. 